The most common question asked in RuneScape is how do I make money? Welcome to Tutorial Island to Twisted Bow, a series where I start from scratch with nothing and farther the account each and every episode with questing, bossing, skilling, and combat. We will hopes to one day achieve the Twisted Bow. After watching this series, you should no longer ask yourself, how do I make money in RuneScape? Hey guys, what is up? It is no help and welcome back to episode 14 of Tutorial Island to Twisted Bow. In this episode, we're going to knock out a ton of quest requirements and hopefully get them out of the way. Of course, we're going to make a little bit more money, but uh, yeah, let's just begin. Starting it off here with 62 mining. We're slowly going to go towards 72 mining and, uh, you know, so we can unlock the next floor and just uh, it's really good for AFK money over time. 50 wood cutting we might be going a little overboard now but there is 53 wood cutting not too bad still the monkey and 56 wood cutting i think we've been a monkey long enough uh yeah let's just go ahead and do something else now that was also a requirement for the fremenic isles 56 wood cutting not bad maybe we planned that maybe we didn't all right i might have lied i want the dragon axe 60 wood cutting one level to the dragon axe then i promise we'll leave here okay so we actually just spent 200 nuggets and got the upgraded sack so now we have um six deposits which we can do which will make this a lot more afk which is nice and the other one the 72 mining restriction is actually only 100 nuggets i thought it was 200 as well so yeah definitely worth this purchase definitely worth it we should be stocking up tons now all right finally returning back to slayer we were afking for a while got up to 67 mining we finished the woodcutting grind we're on the grind really for the questing but we are very very close to a slayer level and uh yeah then we're gonna work on 75 slayer for gargoyles and we should start doing um birdhouse runs more regularly but uh yeah we got 180 worms to kill so we should get a couple of range levels which will be pretty nice and make a decent little bit of money well, would you look at that? 66 Slayer, we just got the level up right here, and a Brimstone Key on the same kill. And this is like four kills into the task, so hopefully we'll get another one. Well, we just hit 61 range. We have 137 worms left to kill, so let's just knock it out. All right, we just hit our second Brimstone Key of the task. We're up to 62 range. I predicted we'd probably get two range levels this task. You know what? We're actually going to get a third range level as well. That's fucking insane. We can start to we can actually take on Jad soon and get our fire cape on this account. That's fucking insane. Probably work on doing the birdhouse runs, but I've just been, you know, addicted to doing Slayer tonight. I need to do some more questing and stuff like that. But the sooner I can get to gargoyles, the sooner we will have a ton of money. We're actually making a decent amount of money from worms here as well. So uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys at the end of this task. There must have been a bot here or something. I literally just saw Dragon Harpoon on the on the ground. I'm not sure if this guy's gonna be like pissed or something, but I saw a Dragon Harpoon on the ground and I literally just got to pick it up. That's literally a million GP. I'm actually gonna use that for fishing now. Um, <laughs> okay, that's really weird. I can even uh, prove it to you guys here. One second here. Look at my worm, KC. No Dragon Harpoon there. We literally just got one on the ground. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. Sorry to that guy or whoever it was. One of us just got a dragon harpoon and I got to snatch it. That's 1.2 million. What the actual fuck is happening with me right now? There's the actual dragon harpoon in my name. That's two in the inventory. <laughs> what the fuck is happening, man? This is probably the most profitable slayer task I'll have in a long time. That's fucking insane um yeah i'm gonna go bank all right that was a probably the best worm task that i've ever had in my entire life but anyways conar what is the next assignment trolls in kilogram i think those are the ones that we have to fight underneath i believe but anyways we have the four brimstone keys let's go ahead and open these up iron ore gold ore with some more gold ore. Holy shit, lots of ore and some gold. <laughs> kind of a weird little set of keys there, but uh, I guess onto some trolls. 
All right, Konar, thank you for that trolls assignment. We actually got a couple levels up to 72 attack, 72 strength, and I think we hit 65 defense and as well as 72 HP. We got a lot of total levels from that. 16k away from a Slayer level. So what are you going to give me? Aberrant Inspectors in the Catacombs. Okay, okay, that's a little better. I'm pretty sure that's actually the Deviant ones. Hmm. All right, so we actually just hit 67 Slayer, which is pretty freaking cool. We need a... What is that? Uh, eight more levels until 75. Not too bad, not too bad. And 17 more Aberrant Inspectors left to kill. So let's just knock this task. Um, all right, so we finished that task. Um, let's see, in total, 28k Slayer experience. Very good. We are 44k experience until the next level, but 560 blood builds in the stronghold. That's, that's not too bad. All right, Konar, thank you for that task. And two Roths in the Fremenic Slayer dungeon. Why not? Why not? You know what's crazy to think? I think it's at 69 Slayer. You get the Dragon Slayer 2. I mean, it's not like we're going to be doing that for a long time. I want to focus on just leveling up my stats, doing quests and stuff like that. We'll eventually be going for Pharaoh's Gloves soon. I want to start training Runecraft and Construction and even Farming. I want to get all my skills rounded up, but uh, I know majority of money in this game is made through Slayer, and that's why I'm really hyper-focused on Slayer. But, uh, you know, it's been overall a lot of fun playing this account for sure. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna get into other money-making methods soon. Like, skilling ones, you know what I mean? Like, some RC bloods? Well, that was our first superior. Not too bad. No loot, but, uh... Interesting, and we got a decent amount of Slayer XP, so can't complain. Alright, Konar, I'm gonna open up this Brimstone Key. All right, Torstal Seeds, that's actually pretty good. And let's go with the next assignment, Jellies in the Fremenic Slayer Dungeon. All right. Okay, let's go. We just finished that Jellies task. We are so close, like 4k experience till the next Slayer level. Fire Giants in... Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 67 defense. We're getting close to, you know, 70, and then I'm gonna stop probably training defense because I need that for like the stronger Barrows armor and stuff like that for when I eventually get to Gargoyles. And uh, yeah, we hit 68 Slayer. Not too bad at all. We're just doing this Fire Giants task. We have 81 more to go. Then I seriously need to do some more questing. I also need to level up my stats a little bit more. Maybe I'll do another Birdhouse run as well, but we're not looking too bad really at all. All right. Task complete, and let's see there, we got 17k Slayer, no key for that. Anyways, Konar, also Island Wyverns, that is new. I'm not sure if I can take these out. Hmm, I think they're going to be way too strong for this account. I kind of feel a little weird about doing this, but I'm going to cancel this task and try for another one. Hellhounds and Taverly Dungeon, that is doable. All right, I'm gonna sell one of these beautiful dragon harpoons. Hopefully we get like one point whatever mil, 1.2 mil basically. And I wanna see if I can buy these oak saplings from the Grand Exchange, yes. I'm gonna buy a couple of these. I think we're only gonna need like five maybe, maybe even less than five. We need to start the farming grind. I know, we, I know, but we have to. And time to invest in some more Slayer potions. Uh, fucking so expensive, but we'll make it all back one day, I promise. Okay, Konar, what are we gonna get next? We are very, you know, getting closer. Uh, Calphite's in the Calphite Lair. All right, buddy. All right, we finished the task of the Calphites, and I grabbed all my brimstone keys from the bank. So let's just go ahead and open those up first. First one coming in with. Ooh, Oof, magic seeds, that's profit right there. Gold ore, which is nice. Rune. Coal, let's just go ahead and drop these files. And we have one more key here. Alright, anyways, let's go ahead and get the next assignment. Hellhounds in this dungeon. Very, very good assignment. But I'm going to go ahead and do some questing, like I promised. Actually, a birdhouse run first. Let's go. 15 hunter. And 16 hunter. 17 
All right, so um, I'm just gonna hopefully talk to this guy, and I'm hoping that's everything. There we go. Completion of the Fremenic trials, request points: twenty eight hundred experience in strength, defense, attack, hit points, fishing, thieving, agility, crafting, fletching, and wood cutting. What a decent quest to get out of the way. Yep, up to thirty three thieving, not too bad at all. Fremenic trials completed. Eighteen hundred. 19 20 hunter all right guys so we are actually just going on this hellhounds assignment right now um yeah we've done a lot in this episode i just realized i haven't uploaded a tutorial island a twisted bow episode in about three weeks uh i think it's just some of the grinds that i did in this episode took a lot longer than you know you other ones for example but you know we're getting there on the way got a lot of slayer to do a lot of questing to do i'm hoping to pump out one more video after this one of tutorial island a twisted bow before the leagues come out because then there won't be a tutorial island a twisted bow a video for probably a month month and a half which sucks but at the same time um we will be making money out of the leagues now let me know down in the comments below if i do say for example get to the dragon cup which i doubt will happen and i make a ton of money off of the shop with the leagues you guys want me to just put all that money into bonds or do you want me to actually use it for the series like if i got all say i made 50 mil from playing the the leagues i could you know buy bandos i could buy some skilling supplies like for construction and stuff like that but then again it's like i didn't really make that from scratch so i don't know i've been debating on it the past few days i might end up just using that money for bonds or something like that but uh it'd be it'd be a big help of money that's for sure or you know i could just keep the items as like trophies or whatever which is another option i could do for sure but yeah, after this video, one more tutorial on a twisted bow, and then you won't be seeing this series for probably a month, month and a half. Unfortunate, but you will be seeing a lot more videos from me, that is for sure. I'm going to be uploading, I'm going to try to upload like daily the first week, maybe, maybe of the uh, thing, depending on like where I am in my life. I'm uh, trying to get another job right now, so you know, I might be uploading once a week, you never know, but uh, I cannot wait for the leagues to come out. I'm very, very excited for them. And um, yeah, so I'm going to try my best this next two weeks to just pump out as much Tutorial Island of Twisted Bow content as I possibly can so I can get another episode out for you guys. Thank you guys so much for everything, like in the series. And uh, yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video. See ya later.